Hi, Tyler. Oh, hi, Lauren. How are things? How you been? Oh, I'm good. You look beautiful. Your closet looks lovely. I have all of those same garments here as well. Your bicycle looks great. Thank You're you. So fit. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hello, everybody. We are so excited for you to see our new original movie, Roadhouse Romance. Wow. Beautiful. What a How did I do? So good. Uh, we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Channel sent our way for us to answer. Let's get started. First question. May I start, Lauren? Bring it. All right, here we go. Number one, in Roadhouse Romance, Callie returns to her hometown discovering that her grandfather's BBQ business is struggling and gets a little help from Luke, who happens to be passing through town. Without giving away too many spoilers, can you share a little more about the movie and your experience on bringing it to life? Sure can. I'm Callie. Yep. And my character is a lieutenant in the army and I've been deployed for two years and I come home and I quite literally bump into you, Luke. This is, this is true. This is true. And my life is falling apart, actually. <laughs> Yep. Some yeah. drama. Some drama with, with the with the ex. Lose the boy, get get the boy, lose the boy, get the boy. Yeah, this is what these movies are. How was your experience doing it? I loved it. I obviously came to Canada. Yep. You shoot it. Um yeah. which was kind of funny to me to shoot a movie in Tennessee in Vancouver. But it was a great experience. I loved it. Um, I love acting, actually. Yeah. So I had a great time. I mean, it was a lot of work and a short amount of time, but yeah. I'm excited about it. How about you? Oh, good. I loved it. I did. did I, I didn't tell you. I went to uh, to Tennessee recently. I went to Nashville. You did. I did. It was the first time I'd ever been, and so. Yeah, I understand why Vancouver might feel a little different than well, <laughs> Nashville, like, Tennessee. Yeah, it made me laugh a couple times. <clears throat> yeah, but okay. Oh, you want to do the next question? Sure. Okay. Question number two: The viewers will love how your characters help teach each other what is important to focus on in life. What do you admire the most about Luke and Callie's friendship? Um, what I liked about our friendship and our dynamic in the movie was, I think my character was coming off of a whirlwind situation where all of his kind of hopes and dreams had been coming true, um, but it felt off to him. And so I think when we meet him in the movie, he's struggling with that scenario. And uh, I think quickly after meeting you, he becomes privy to a, a different vibe and, and an energy that I think he was very much needing in his life. And um, I think the dynamic of you reminding him of, of, the, of the person that maybe he was before all this and the person that he wants to then be again, I think is a beautiful thing. And I, I just loved um, in this movie how Luke admired you so much, how he was thrown into this situation and possibly grumpy at times, uh, but still uh, couldn't help but be charmed and mesmerized by by you it, from a friendship standpoint, too. You know, you're, you're, your character is going through some things with in her life. And I think it starts off as a really nice friendship and then uh, turns into something better. Maybe. How's that? Maybe. Maybe. We'll Maybe. see. I feel like these movies kind of go the same way sometimes. <laughs> Wonder what could happen. I think for me, my my favorite thing about them is they're polar opposites pretty much in every way. And they come from two completely different worlds and they find common ground despite that. And um, they like they're completely different backgrounds, completely different lives, and they still come together. And I think that that's really sweet. Yes. And there's some dancing. It's not like you and me. We're very different lives. I'm American. You're Canadian. I'm so Canadian. I'm and you're so American. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big closet. I have a white wall. I, I have a big closet. You have a bike. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
That's all I got in this shirt. This is my whole life. <laughs> all right, this next one's for you. Okay. Uh, one of the main elements in this movie is country music. Lauren, you got the opportunity to sing in this movie, lucky for us, and perform two of your original songs that will be featured on your new album. Can you share with us your experience incorporating your own music into this movie, playing a fictional character, but using your own music? I was pretty excited about that. I have two of my original songs, like you said, and when I was reading through the script and um, it kind of originally came my way, they were like parts of the script that I was, my character was obviously supposed to sing. So I had to read the script and see which songs I thought would be fitting. And that was really fun because I actually got to collaborate with the script a little bit to make the song make sense thematically. Yeah. For the song and for the script so that was really fun and it was nice to do something i knew i was good at because <laughs> acting is new for me so when i got to sing i looked forward to it <laughs> yeah when you hit the stage you're in the zone so does that does that mean that you wrote this music after learning that you're going to do this movie no, I had actually already written the songs and we yeah. kind of reworked the script a little bit to make the songs make sense with okay. what we were saying about the songs. I love it. Yeah. That's so fun. I, you know, I didn't really have time to write songs for the movie, but I could do that in my next homework movie. Well, wait, didn't, when you were in Vancouver, when we were up there, you went and recorded something right before shooting, did you not? Yes, but that was a cover. So that wasn't my ah. song. And that's why I had to record it because it was a cover. Yes, of course, of course, mm -hmm. yes. Beautiful yeah, cover. You now. Chills, yes. Thank you. Um, okay. When Luke first meets Kelly, they have an <laughs> unexpected encounter that leaves Luke stranded in her hometown for weeks. What was it like? Well, what was it like filming in a small town together? Are there any fun behind the scenes stories? Did you call Vancouver a small town? I mean, we were outside, right? We were in those cute little areas. That, they that, did take uh, us to a few really cute towns, actually. Yes, 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 we did. Fun stories, let's see. Um, fun behind the scenes. The dog. The, the dog, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> The I'm sorry, that's your question. I'm answering your question. No, no, you're, right. you're, your question. Me. you're taking me back. There was, uh, I'm trying to think. There was, there was the, that first, near the beginning of our shoot, we had the, the moment with the dog, with the, uh, without giving too much away, with the sort of flower pot garden area and spraying the hose. I think that was a lot of fun. That was like, that was like, I think day two or something. And I could feel like you started to get real comfortable and we started to have some good fun. I thought that was a really nice moment. And there was that great moment where my umbrella had a bunch of rain on it. And then I dumped it all on you before we went to the city. You literally shoved the umbrella and it was like, shunk. I was like, <laughs> As if we weren't dealing with enough stuff already. Right before we go on, I end up drenching our lead actress. Just such a professional I am. That was fun. It was good. All right, here we go. There are a lot of fun moments in Roadhouse Romance. Thank you. Uh, like when Callie and Luke are doing the cowboy cha-cha. Can you share your experience on learning this dance and performing it in the movie? Remember when we were learning it with the, with the guy? Yes, they actually brought in a guy to teach it to us. And I, I don't know if you know this, I was on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, I do know this. And I did the actual cha-cha. Yes. And come to find out the cowboy cha-cha is very similar. But I did not oh, know that. Similar? I did not know that when I was reading the script. I mean, they're different, but they're pretty similar. Yeah. Uh, but it was pretty funny, us over there on the side trying to learn how to do this dance. Yeah, I think it worked out. I think the fact that we learned it that day. It was know. really sweet, though. Yeah. I think that those scenes are so sweet and cute. I agree. Did you see the movie? I have. Have you? Oh, great. I have. Yeah, it's very, very lovely. I think I'm also, fun fact, guys, yes. I'm going to be on my TikTok. Stay tuned. 
<laughs> you have a TikTok? I don't have a TikTok yet. How is it over at TikTok land? Maybe your first TikTok can be the cowboy cha-cha. Oh my goodness. Let's just tank it right off the bat. Just just destroy the whole the whole TikTok vibe. All right. <laughs> Should I do this one? Sure. Number six. Okay. In this movie, Callie is determined to find her grandfather's secret BBQ sauce recipe and reestablish the brand. With the help of Luke, they both try to recreate a legendary BBQ sauce. Do you both have a favorite BBQ recipe? Uh, I don't really make barbecue very often. However, I love it. Yes. I like the like white barbecue sauce the best. Have you ever had that? I think, no, I've never had white barbecue sauce. Tennessee's probably got like a strong barbecue sauce game. Yeah, we have a, a barbecue restaurant that is um, Nashville based called Edley's, and oh, they yeah. have great white barbecue sauce. I need to look up how to make that. But what does it taste like? Has it got like some smoky bacon y thing? Because I feel like white, what, what would that be? It's not smokier. It's, I almost want to say it's kind of. I don't know how to explain it. You just got to try it. Okay. Send I'll me a bottle. bottle. I'll eat it. I'll slather it all over my face. Um, <laughs> I don't know about barbecue sauce. I, I I like fried things. And like like Roscoe's chicken and waffle is right down the street from where I am. And that's one of my favorite things in the world. But uh, barbecue sauce I can get into. But I was just kind of a simple barbecue guy. Like the, like the, the basic brands. The, the boring stuff. I need to up my barbecue game. I think the white ones are mayonnaise based. Man, did Trisha just tell you this off camera? Trisha, where are you at? <laughs> Trisha, where are you at? Trisha's not even. Over. It's Eden. <laughs> she just like oh, slid yeah. the phone over. <laughs> what does it show say? you the barbecue sauce? What does it say? Is it what is it? Is it based? Mayonnaise based. It's got vinegar in it for sure. Yeah, mayonnaise based. Sauce. Okay. Tangy with the addition. It's vinegar. tangy. Vinegar. That's ah, tangy. There you go. Tangy. There you go. We had vinegar in our sauce on set, I think. We did. That thing, yeah. was, that thing was something special. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing an Instagram live making barbecue sauce. So be sure to tune in and you can make it with me. I don't know how good I'll be at it, but I'll do my best. And you do your best and it'll be a good time. Also, stand by for updates on Hallmark's pages. You you introduced this, Tyler. Okay. Is this the rapid fire thing? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, yeah. So we have a rapid fire game of this or that. Inspired by Roadhouse Romance. Pick the option you like best. Both can answer. Great. Ready? Yes. Going to a rodeo or going to a country music concert. Well, country music concerts are my job, so I'm going to go to the rodeo. I was going to go to the rodeo, too. I feel like I haven't been to enough good rodeos in my life. So let's go to the rodeo together. Let's go. Yeehaw. All right. You want to do number two? Singing karaoke or line dancing? Oof. Oh, karaoke. Yeah. Karaoke is one of my biggest fears. So I'm going to go line dancing. All right. All right. Pumpkin spice lattes or apple cider? This is a good one. Uh, what are you doing? Pumpkin spice latte. I'm going apple cider. Wearing country boots or wearing a cowboy hat? I like both. I don't want to pick. Good choice. Just put them both on. If you're going to go in, you might as well go all the way in. Yeah. Five, barbecue ribs or fried chicken? I answered this one. Fried chicken every day. 100%. I'm with you all the way. And you want to throw some waffles in with that? I'm not mad at that either. Mashed potatoes <laughs> for me, but sure. Ooh, um, yes. Okay. Horseback riding or cruising in a pickup truck? I grew up with horses. Love them. Beautiful creatures. Um, but I want to go pickup truck. Another I got to go pickup pick truck. truck, too. I, I think yeah. there's too much room for me to get hurt riding on a horse. Yeah, there's a lot of chafing that happens. Yeah, I'm in, confident in from that region. Like me signing up for breaking an ankle. Yeah. 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 Okay. So <laughs> we'll, we'll keep ourselves safe. Number seven pumpkin pie or apple pie? Pumpkin, hands down. Oh, wow. Apple pie, without a doubt. Not a big apple gal. I, I never understood pumpkin. I, it always terrified me. It seemed like, like you ever smell a pumpkin, it smells terrible. 
So how would somebody make something delicious from this? I didn't know, but I have tried. You're in butter. Yes, you're right. This is this is this is exactly That's how you make it. Yeah, Lauren will be cooking uh, pumpkin pie on her Instagram. Sign up and swipe left and swipe right and make some pumpkin pie with Lauren. Okay. Number eight, right. leaf leaf peeping or jumping into leaves. What is peeping? Well, what is leaf you know? peeping? Yeah. I feel like our, our staff. I'm going to go with jump in. Leaf, leaf peeping. Sounds like something leaf I've peeping. never heard of. I don't know. You're right. Let's, it sounds let's like, like a new I'm frontier. Just, something like that. I'm going to jump into gonna, some leaves. I'm going to go with the leaf peeping because who knows what that is. And I'm into something new. All Somebody right. make that up. Come on. What? Somebody in the comments. Tell us what leaf peeping is. Oh, it's um, going right. between leaves. What is it? Going between leaves? Going to look at leaves. Oh, leaf peeping. Like just looking at leaves. Say, hey, maybe we <laughs> should go leaf peeping today. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't done that before. But, you know, first time for anything. You know what I want to do today? Leaf peeping. Yeah, you peep this leaf over here. Now peep this one. All right, how are we doing on time? Do you want to keep doing this? You want to wrap it up, you guys? Wrap it up. Okay, here we go. You want to wrap it up? You did it so good. You do it. Tyler, so good to see you. I'm excited for everybody to see the movie. I'm really proud of it. Uh, thank you, Hallmark, for letting us be a part of this movie. Guys, we're excited for you to see our movie, Roadhouse Romance. It comes out September 11th as part of the Hallmark Channel's Fall Harvest. It's at 9 p.m. We are going to both be on our Twitters live tweeting, so be sure to come live tweet with us and let us know what you think about the movie using the hashtag Roadhouse Romance. We love you guys, and we can't wait for you to see it. Tyler, good to see you. Good to see you, sweetheart. Can't wait to see you on the big screen. Everybody's going to love you. It's going to be the best thing ever. Thank you, Tyler. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.